Hi, it's Hannah. Quick little unboxing video today. Hopefully it's not a boring unboxing because I feel like sometimes they can be a little bit repetitive. But I did want to share that I got a bottle of Serge Luten Santel Majuscule. And I know I said in my review that I enjoyed it and I really liked it, but I didn't feel like I needed it. And then I don't know what happened. That was in June. Yeah, I think I got the decant in June and then I wore it a lot in June. I finished my decant actually and it was 5 ml so it wasn't a lot but it was enough. I think that's a lot to wear in a short amount of time. Uh, and then the fall hit and I was just really, really craving this perfume. I really wanted to smell it again and I didn't have it. And there's no place around here where you can just walk in and spray it and sample it because I feel like um, in another time I would definitely just do that. I would just go to the store and bug the salespeople and just spray myself with whatever perfume I was craving. Can't do that with this one. And I saw it on a discounter website. So I went for it and I did get it because I just decided that I hadn't come across this particular formula, this particular combination of notes giving me the same vibe. So I did end up getting it. And I think part of what I was really missing was the cocoa note in it because the cocoa is not too gourmand it's pretty dry and not very very sweet so i really liked that and the rose is juicy and i did spray some on the rose is really juicy and the sandalwood is definitely my favorite part it's not the santel kind of sandalwood if you're familiar with that it reminds a lot of people of dill pickle it's not like that at all it's more of a creamy uh, almost cedary, I want to say, sandalwood. Definitely reminds me of my childhood, and that's why I liked this perfume to begin with. So I'm happy to have a bottle again. My decant was from this type of bottle. This is the newer kind of bottle, and um, yeah, so I'm happy to have it again. I'm sure maybe the formulas are different between the old and the new, but it doesn't matter. Also, I bought it off a discounter website so not from a department store or a perfume store and the packaging is different this is kind of basic packaging i think this is probably a tester which is why it looks like this and uh what i noticed is that the sprayer is already in the bottle and i know that when you buy it off uh, from an actual store and not a discounter you have to put the sprayer in yourself so the box comes with a sprayer and uh the bottle has you know a silver lid or a black lid and then you put the sprayer in yourself which maybe is better for travel i'm not really sure i have actually traveled with my bottles and i haven't noticed a difference between having a sprayer in and not having a sprayer in but i don't know Anyways, if you buy off a discounter, that is what you get. You do not get the um, the normal cap. I actually think that's fine because the bottle fits inside the box. Whereas any of my other bottles that I have, I can't fit them in the box because like, I have to take the sprayer off and put the other lid back on and then put them back in the box. It just... I don't know sometimes I like to store things and like really put them away and so it just makes it more complicated more difficult to do that and I don't always like doing that but that's it I just wanted to share because I know I said I wasn't gonna get this so then I wanted to share that I did get it and I missed it when it was gone and sometimes that happens and that's okay so there you go hope you all are having a great day and I will see you next time bye bye